and welcome to your daily practice. Coming to a nice comfortable seated position on your mat, allowing your hands to rest on top of your knees. Now just taking a few moments to connect with your breath as you inhale, fill the lungs. As you exhale, let it all go. Allow the eyes to gently close. Allow the shoulders to rest away from the ears and allow yourself just to leave everything aside. Maybe starting to activate your ujjayi breath as you slightly constrict the back of the throat and inhale through the nose. Keeping that constriction as you exhale through the nose. Allowing that audible sound, that ocean-like breath to allow you to calm the nervous system and just become really present in your practice. Keeping with that ujjayi breath, on the next exhale, slowly release the chin towards the chest, lengthening out the back side of the neck. On the next inhale, rolling the right ear around to the right shoulder, lengthening out that left side. And we're just going to pause here and take our time with these neck rolls, allowing gravity to do the work here so that we can really allow those muscles to open up naturally. Exhale, chin back down to the chest, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest, right ear, right shoulder, and you can stay there if you'd like to roll all the way around to the back, lengthening out the front of the neck, and just allow these neck rolls to happen organically. So just feeling in when to pause, when to switch directions. And then gradually on your next exhale, making your chin back down to the chest, Inhale, bringing that head back up to a neutral position. And we're just gonna bring those arms up into cactus arms. As we inhale, let's open the chest, gaze goes up, breathe into the chest. Exhale, round the upper back, bring the elbows together, gaze goes down towards the knees. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, open the chest. Feel the breath, expand the front side of the body, exhale, round the upper back, look down at the knees. Last time, inhale, open up. Exhale, round. Inhale, bringing yourself back to a neutral spine. We're just gonna crawl up onto our hands and knees, tabletop position. Taking a few cat cows as you inhale, open the chest. Gaze goes up. Exhale, round through the tail, go all the way towards the upper back. Two more times. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round. And then just allow the body to move organically, make the big barrel rolls with the rib cage. Just opening into any space in the upper body that feels tense or tight. And then as you exhale, bringing yourself back to a neutral spine, we're just going to tuck those toes under and we're going to go straight into our first down dog. So we're going to peel the feet right and left here. We're going to open up the hamstrings. Bring whatever movement into your down dog that your body's asking for. And then slowly finding some stillness here in your down dog. Feeling the back side of the legs start to lengthen out. Roll the shoulders away from the ears, spread the fingers nice and wide. Even out the weight in the hands. 
Exhale, bend deep into the knees. Look to the hands. Hopper step forward right into your inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Two more times. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold with the breath. Remember that Ujjayi breath. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. On the inhale, bend deep into the knees. Swing the arms up and overhead. And then exhale, hinging from the hips, fold all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Reach through the crown of the head. And then exhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank. Holding in high plank here, make sure everything's activated and you're pushing your upper body away from the mat. Nice and strong through the body here as we exhale, either lower in knees, chin, chest, or modified. Or full, squeeze the elbows into the rib cage, lower halfway down. Inhale into up dog or cobra. Exhale all the way back, down dog. Holding here for three breaths. Remember, if you've lost that ujjayi breath, just gently guide it back. And then as you exhale, bend deep into the knees, look to the hands, hop or step forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhaling, coming all the way up to standing, arms go up, hands come down through heart center. Right away, going into our balancing posture. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, you're gonna swing that right hand underneath the left. Bring the elbows as far across as you can go, and then you're going to candy cane wrap your arms. Bring your elbows up off your chest. Moving right into an eagle pose, so spread those left toes nice and wide. Sit back into your chair, and then wrap that right foot up and over top of the left. So you're squeezing those inner thighs together, trying to wrap the right toes around the back of the left calf. Now be sure to sit up nice and tall in your chair. Keep reaching through the crown of your head up towards the ceiling of the sky. And remember that core is nice and activated. All those energy blocks are on. And we're peeling our shoulder blades apart with the arms. Sit a little bit lower in your chair. Let's take one more deep breath. And then inhale, unravel the arms, the leg, reaching up. And then we're going to go right into the other side as you exhale that left arm is going to come underneath the right you're going to wrap those arms together with the elbows up off the chest spread the right toes nice and wide sink low down into your chair and wrap that left leg all the way over the right left toes come around the back of the right calf so we're trying to line up our elbows and our knees so you might have to bring your knees back over to the left if you find that you're twisting a little bit too much. It might also be hard to tell if you don't have a mirror. Remember, keep reaching through the crown of the head. You're sitting up nice and tall. Whole body's engaged in your breathing, using that ujjayi breath. And then inhale, unravel the arms and the legs, reaching up and overhead. Great work, you guys. Exhale, let it go, hands through heart center, hinge from the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back, high plank. Lower down. Inhale up. And then exhale, back down, dog going right into our child's pose. So knees wide, toes together, bringing the chest all the way down to the mat, just for a couple breaths. Wiggling the hips right and left, get that belly right in between the thighs. And then just take two grounding breaths here. On the inhale, start to activate the arms, pushing into the hands. 
bringing yourself all the way back up and then back into seated bringing yourself all the way down onto your back hugging the knees and towards the chest we're just going to take a really quick happy baby bringing the bottom of the feet up towards the ceiling or the sky grabbing for the outer edge of the feet pulling the knees down towards the mat on either side and then gently rock from right to left if your tailbone and your shoulders are connected with the mat. If not, just focus on bringing that upper body all the way flat onto the mat. Last breath here. And then exhale, hugging the knees in towards the chest. Maybe gently rock from right to left, make big circles to the right and to the left. Opening up the arms to either side, allow the knees to naturally fall to the right. Gaze is over the left shoulder. On your next exhale, allow your eyes to close. Allow your body to just sink in towards the mat. Gently working right into the other side, bringing the knees back up to the center, falling all the way down over to the left, gaze over the right shoulder now. Take any last movement modification that you need before resting into your final Shavasana. Whenever you're ready, allow your feet to naturally fall down towards the mat. Tuck your shoulder blades under, palms come to face the sky. Slightly humble your chin, lengthen your spine through the crown of your head, close down your eyes. The next exhale, just let everything go. Allow yourself to sink away. Just giving yourself permission here to fully rest in your Shavasana. Feel that ripple effect of all the postures you just moved through. If you notice any tension or tightness anywhere in the body on the next exhale, I want you to actively soften. Create space. bringing your awareness back to your breath breathing life into the body as you inhale and reach the arms up and overhead and stretch the toes forward on the next exhale hug the knees into the chest gently rock from right to left until your knees eventually make it all the way over onto the right side using that right arm as a pillow and taking this opportunity as always to thank yourself for coming onto your mat to thank yourself for your practice today Using that left hand to push yourself up into a comfortable seated position, bringing your hands to heart center. As you inhale the thumbs up to the third eye, the space in between the eyebrows for right thought. As you exhale the thumbs down to the lips for true speech. And then finally back down to the heart for acts of compassion. Namaste everyone.